Fox 26 has joined the Defender Network delivering news and information to the area's black community. So here now is, is education editor Laura Onyanejo. And uh, Laura, we're going to start this discussion here this afternoon talking about a super interesting topic. We're talking about Gen Z and how they're revolutionizing the workplace. That's right. So uh, we all know that uh, this is post-COVID now and the traditional nine to five structure is changing. And so we see young millennials and Gen Z, they're taking the bold step to finding ways to you know, to have a flexible life and career um, mm -hmm. in the workplace. And so that discussion right now is they, they're shaking tables. <laughs> <laughs> they are definitely shaking tables and companies are trying to figure out how they can, you know, keep up with this uh, revolution that's happening right now. Mm -hmm. So we spoke to this uh, young lady. Her name is Miss Kelly Bonner. She is a licensed therapist and a uh, burnout expert. And she uh, came up with a conversation to help black professionals navigate this topic as well as help companies figure out how they can be able to figure out how they can keep up with this Gen yeah. Z and um, their issues and concerns. And so we discuss everything from setting boundaries uh, to having open dialogue in the workplace, uh, competitive salaries, uh, just and, and better uh, work career development. So these are just some of the topics that were discussed uh, for this. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in that because a lot of companies out there, not all of them are behind this work from home movement. So that's going to be an not. interesting <laughs> article there. Now, you also took a look at a great youth program that's making a real difference here for immigrants and refugees in the Houston area. Yes, that's right. So the program is called uh, Kijanga Youth Program, and they were brought, they're powered by the Alliance of Multicultural Services. And so their goal is to provide educational services and opportunities for immigrants and refugees in the city. And and so they serve a large African and um, Hispanic population from grades 8 through 12. And so their goal is to help them navigate the city of Houston, help them give them the resources, the mentorship, field trips, community service, because it's not easy coming from another country mm -hmm. and then coming into the U.S. and still trying to navigate society and then having to succeed in school as well. So that's their biggest goal. Love it. And lastly, here this week, we talked, you spoke to the co-founder of Houston's first Nigerian-owned gym. is Ile Kong Athletic Club. Oh, yeah, that's right. You All got right. it right. So, <laughs> yeah, so uh, as part of our under 40 coverage of black businesses, uh, we want to just showcase the diverse uh, ranges of, of different businesses from those who are under 40, of course. Mm. So, uh, uh, Ilekan is co-founded by Prince Tunde and his brother. And uh, the goal for Ilekan, which means one house in Yoruba, because he's from Nigeria, uh, is to help their clients find their uh, mind, body, and soul. So that's their, their structure um, at the gym. And this young man comes from Prairie View A&M University. Um, he started his, his hustle uh, there, teaching classes for free, um, uh, and now entering into the workspace as, a, as an entrepreneur. Uh, the goal is just to create awareness around the health disparities in our community. And so one of the best things about his gym, because I've been there a couple of times, yeah. is his Afrobeats uh, dance class that he hosts every Every month he makes sure he infuses his culture with fitness so I suggest everybody go check it out if you want to have you know the summer body yeah, yeah that's definitely <laughs> a place to go good Laura Onyejo thank you so much for joining us from the Defender if you want some more information on any of these stories fox26houston.com is the website